All right, Lexi, uh, first off, how much do you, and I didn't prep you on this one, how much are you missing the Olympic cycle as you uh, transition into, into nursing and your, your next career, if you will? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, my sister and I, we were both training ready for 2020 and, you know, we had, we had graduated uh, college in 2019 and we said, we're, you know, there's one more year. We really want to go for it. We pushed off pharmacy school actually is what I'm in right now. And um, so I was like, no, I'm gonna take this year. I'm gonna train. And then COVID hit and uh, I decided to go ahead and start school. I didn't want to push that career off any further. And so um, it just, it came to be that it was just too much going on. It was just too stressful. And so I decided that it was time for me to put up the spikes um, so I do miss it and it's sad, um, like looking back this summer, just getting the chance to compete at the trials again was, was disappointing, but, um, I'm happy where I am right now. Of course it is a disappointment missing, you know, just the opportunity to compete again, uh, at the trials and hopefully make another team. But, um, you know, I can't wait to see the three women that are going to be competing for the USA. I, I've done this and, and I think I told you this, I, I never like to use former Olympian. I think once you're an Olympian, you're always an Olympian. Um, interesting though, that you're into pharmacy school during a global pandemic. How much do you understand the need for um, vaccination and truth when it comes to athletes and where they're at uh, when it comes to coronavirus? Yeah, I mean, it's obvious that this is a serious issue. And um, I I actually work in a hospital and recently we've seen the cases just go up. Our hospital's at full capacity and just seeing the effects that this virus has on people. I mean, it it really is killing lots of people. And so it is a scary thing. And so, you know, going to Tokyo and knowing, you know, that you're putting yourself at risk or, you know, hopefully most most of the athletes going, I don't know if it's mandatory, but hopefully most of them, have gotten the vaccine and so that they are, you know, are protecting themselves for um, something that's very serious. So with what's happening there uh, in Arkansas, and and I know how bad it is. I mean, I'm an Arkansan, I hear about it all the time. And then you think about what's happening in Tokyo and how hard it is in Tokyo. Then you hear that the possibility of canceling the games is still on the table. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that being, you know, in the medical field, also an Olympian and, and, and being a former athlete, where's your emotions lie for those who have fought so hard for now five years? Right. Oh man. It's just, it's just such a tough situation. I mean, you know, you work four years, this, in this case, five, you put it all out there and you train so hard and you finally made it. You've made this team. And a lot of the athletes are already over in Tokyo or heading there in the next few days. So the possibility of it just you know, not happening. Oh, it's just devastating to me for someone who's had the experience. Um, and, you know, I know what it was like. And, and just if, if it does get canceled, I, I would just, I, I hope it does not. What can you compare it to anything? I mean, Zika, you did have athletes that didn't go because of Zika in Brazil five years ago. Um, and then there were security concerns. I remember driving next to on a bus and there was, you know, guys in army fatigues and long guns right next to us. So every Olympics has its thing. Can you compare that? I know it's a global pandemic, so it may be hard, but can mm-hmm. you compare kind of what you went through in the security protocol to what may be happening in Tokyo? Well, I don't know. I don't even know if it compares. I mean, we definitely had the fear. I remember when I packed for Tokyo, I packed like a bag full of bug spray products and everything just to protect myself from the mosquitoes and everything. And I mean, it was definitely like a little bit nerve wracking to travel down there knowing that um, that was around. And um, but I don't I don't think it compares to this. I mean, just knowing the number of of people who have been sick and who have died from from this virus, I, I don't think it compares. I can't imagine um, what the security is like. I mean, obviously like, no, there are no fans and like, I, I mean, just my like family members are able to come into the village. Um, like when I was in Rio and that's, I, that's not an option. And so I, I would imagine that it is extremely tight security. And I, I'm, I'm interested to see what it's going to be like, um, talking to my friends and, um, what it'll be like over there. I have, uh, I was texting with Kaylee Browning, who's a shooter, um, from Arkansas as well. And I, I I, she reminds me of you because you were both very young when you went to the Olympics and she's there now her first ever she made it. Could you imagine being in Brazil and having a situation where they say we may have to cancel this. Can you imagine what that would be like for a first time Olympian or for any Olympian right, who no, won't get to I, compete. 
it would be devastating. I mean, like I said, you've worked, I mean, that is such a huge accomplishment. And even if it does get canceled, like, you know, that they're in my mind, like they are still Olympians a first time, like you made that team and you deserve that title, but, oh man, it would just be devastating. Like just the, the excitement and the waiting the extra year to get there. Um, it would, it would truly be devastating. Do you understand though, the reasons why, since you are in pharmacy school? I mean, I get it. I do. Uh, I mean, like I said before, this is, this is serious. It is. And I don't know if, I mean, seeing it firsthand in the hospital, just the deaths that we've had, like it, 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 it that's, that can be more devastating than missing, you know, the chance to compete at the Olympics. Um, so like, it's just a tough situation and I hate that it's even a thing. And I know, you know, at this time last year when they pushed it back and, you know, everyone was hopeful that everything would be fine, and, you know, a year later and it's still, still, um, it's not over yet. And so it's just a hard situation.